there is a deep law in information theory, um, generally known as the capacity theorem. And it says that if you have a channel of limited capacity, C, let's call it, um, and you put more information down the channel than it has capacity for, that surplus will be experienced in the output of the channel as noise. Now, applying this on a on a sort of global scale, I have come to the view that when we make a new e ecological base for ourselves, as um, hunting gathering was once upon a time, and then farming, and now the Industrial Revolution, uh, each time we establish a new ecological base, we effectively create a lens, um, and that a lens in, through which we look at the world and through which we understand the world. And that lens is of limited capacity. So when we discover a new way of, um, of uh, running our ecology, um, we will start by overloading that lens and causing it to break down and uh, to deconstruct. And then at a later stage, if we continue through the chaos and confusion we've created, um, if we manage to stabilize a new ecology, we create a new lens of greater capacity. And so evolution sort of fills up from below and we get small lenses becoming bigger lenses, becoming bigger lenses. And I think at the present time, we're in a stage where the, the, the industrial materialist lens we're accustomed to is overloaded and we are in no way yet capable of producing a lens that actually sees the, the global situation that we've created, um, both in terms of global warming, in terms of global um, and, and the distress of the species and, and so forth. And so we're in that stage where our culture has deconstructed an old lens and is not yet finding how to construct a new lens and is in a very dangerous and volatile state.